You all right? Yeah. Yeah. Holy snap and duck shit. Watch it back. Come back. Let me put this. My other t-shirt. Your other t-shirt? Oh. Yeah, oh. Look at this. You're gonna love this, Greg, and you commented on this the other day. All right? You ready? SV Seeker. Welding, sorry, grinding god. Hey. <laughs> right, and that's pretty appropriate given that I'm welding right now. Oh, sorry, I'm grinding a lot because I'm a shit welder. <laughs> G'day everyone, I thought I'd um, bring out some old footage of when I bought the mould back to uh, back to my workshop down the coast here and essentially if you remember there was a heap of eye beams that uh, uh, spanned the underneath of the mould and that was great in a factory environment where they could skull drag it with a forklift but I'm going to call this, uh, this episode the hard graft issue because it was uh, one of the hardest uh, periods of this build so far was removing all this steel and then framing it uh, to be suitable for my truck to then roll under and be able to lift in one piece, uh, enabling further movement of the mould back and forth and all logistics. So enjoy this. Uh, definitely a lot of grinding in this issue. Okay, so the next uh, job I've got is to frame this up across like this so I can drive my truck in underneath and pick it up. I've got to notch all of these uh, beams in, which is going to take a bit of grinding, a bit of plasma cutting. So I've got this joint uh, absolutely perfect in here. So this is going to go up and then we'll beam across, joining up with the other one, notched in, all welded up. And uh, then I'll put some additional bracing down here and this will be bolted through to the mold and bolted through to there as well. So plenty of uh, bracing there to, to uh, support this as I lift it. Let's come down to Greggy's and uh, found some more steel these uh, big L beams are going to go uh, across the uh, the underneath of the mold and hopefully give me some uh, good support I mean they're heavy mothers they're about five meters long so they probably weigh about 100 kilos each um, no way I'm getting them out without help so I'm not going to even try but I've got them out I've got them clear of the dirt and everything and I'll uh, give them a bit of a clean up bring them over cut them to shape and uh, whack them in place so it's about um, a mile of steel here Good, good, heavy duty structural stuff. So um, it's only got a bit of surface rust on it. So I'm gonna basically come and uh, peel for some of this from uh, Greg and hopefully get the uh, get the thing supported up and framed up. Okay, so I just pulled one of these big L beams out. They're about a centimeter and a half thick, so they're heavy mothers. Um, getting that out nearly killed me. <laughs> I've got two more to go. This one's buried, so I've got to dig him out. But, uh, I'll get this one up and lever it onto this bit of concrete and pull it out and hopefully uh, be able to get it out without hurting myself. Oh, I didn't show that bit because it's probably a good idea if I didn't because I swore a lot. That one, yeah, think him. Stinker. And very difficult. And it's also got bits welded to it, so it's hard to slide out. But that's two. I need a third one now. Mate, this is like the lightest one, eh, Greg? <laughs> Come on, mate. Mate, came to see my steel merchant. Stick that up under John. That's perfect. That's exactly. Stick it I'm on doing. there. Yep. That's it. What You'll do the lifting. You do the lifting. I'll do the organising. Right, put your foot on that, mate. Please. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Right, buddy. Yo. I'm a bit square this 
You dirtied the road. That'll do. Alright, so we've got three of these big mothers. I just bought two, eh? 100 kilos each, at least. Oh, it's more than that. Oh, they've got to be. You alright? Yeah. Back, Holy back, snapping duck shit. Watch your back. Come back. Oh, let me put this in. Pull. Shit. Heavy mothers, eh, Johnny? Hate to be a steel worker. <laughs> What a shit job. It is heavy stuff, but it's what I need. We need so, a crane. Man, that's made a bit of an effort. But, uh, Stick it on the roof. Drive it there. Hop in, mate. We'll go again. Stick it on the roof. No, I'm not putting the camera up there. <laughs> Hop in. Let's go. Let's go. You all right, buddy? Easy, mate. <laughs> He's the best, mate, mate, this guy. I mean, he fucking does everything. I love it. I don't have many friends help me with this because everyone did a runner, but uh, honestly, this guy... He just never stops. <laughs> I love it. I love it. He's a bit of a bit of a dude. Hang on. So I'm gonna go from there to to there, which is three point Boat building was uh, so much steel work, but uh, unfortunately, framing this mould up is going to take another few days, if not weeks, to uh, make sure it's all stable before I lift it. I've just blew, blown up the poor old chop saw. <laughs> that chop saw, honestly, I've had that for about 10 years. I think it cost me 100 bucks at the time, 150 maybe. And uh, it's just given up the ghost. Big flame came out of the back end of it and uh, yeah, <laughs> not a good scene. But um, yeah, that's just the way it goes here on the mile. We tend to wreck everything we, we pick up. So every bit of tooling gets destroyed. But uh, at the end of the day, the job's gonna get done. So it's back to the trusty uh, Mac Tech. I've just got a whole new bunch of new wheels. My uh, Despicable Me shades. Get cutting. So I've run out of uh, I-beams that are long enough and uh, I've sort of been racking my brain as to what to do. So I've got a, I need one that's at least 1.8 to match this guy up here to get my third main support. So what I've come across on uh, a channel, I can't even remember what channel it was, but where they join these together. So you gotta cut a couple of lips off these and uh, slide them together and I'm aiming for at least 10 centimeters or 100 mil of overlap. Okay, so I've worked out if I cut uh, these two flaps off the top here, about 100 mil back on both sides of this, it'll actually tongue in and uh, the flap will actually groove in there and I'll just weld the two tops back together. That's, uh, it looks like an old boilermaker's trick to, uh, to get uh, good length out of uh, eye beams when you're running a bit short, but I'm not going to go and buy any more. I've got tons of this stuff, but they're all too short, so making another one seems like a sensible solution. And uh, spot on. I've now got a piece that's 1.9 metres long and uh, it's a bit of a weld. 
such an easy fix. Okay, this one's number two uh, frame. Just checked it, it's all square. A little bit anal like that, like things to be uh, dead square. One thing, my dad was a metal worker, a tool maker, and uh, used to make weapons. And uh, he was dead accurate with his metal work. Worst woodworker in the world, I hate to say. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he made do, and this is what you gotta do. You just gotta make do. But uh, yeah, my dad was a, was a fine uh, tool maker. And one thing he taught me was always make sure you set things square. So that's uh, what I've done there is I've set that, that H there, there square. And then I've measured the distance between this beam and this beam. And then measured between this uh, upright and this upright here, or this, this section here, and made sure that it was exactly right. So I've checked it not only up here. So this is what I'm aiming for here is this another one of these. That's going to form my second frame under the mould here, so that when I pick it up, it doesn't uh, collapse both sides. Mate, I'm telling you, <laughs> this steel, it's hard work. Um, so I've just made the second of my, uh, I've got the first big uh, uh, span done. The second one here is now in position. You can have a look here. Sorry to make you a bit sick, guys. Uh, it's sitting right here in this notch that I've uh, just cleaned up to make sure that I get a good weld there. And then over on the other side, it's sitting over the top because these bottom um, uh, RSJs, or these I-beams here, aren't actually in line with the bracing. So I've got one over the top and one in front, which has been a bit of a problem for me, <laughs> making sure I get it welded right, because if I'd stuff that up, I'd have to go back to the drawing board and start welding I-beams and things as well. I'm gonna give it a go and see if I can lift it, but uh, don't like my chances. I'm gonna get it under the pallet jack get it up off the ground. If I can lift it in one go, then I'm good. But if not, mate, she's gonna come down and uh, come down on top of me. And I'm already a bit spent, so I need a couple of minutes off before I have a go, a go at this. Well, sometimes you just gotta wait for help because there's no way in hell I'm lifting that without doing myself an injury. That would be uh, a couple hundred kilos at least and uh, now I'm pretty strong, but I'm not good. <laughs> not prepared to risk my back because the rest of the job's at risk then. So, listen to everybody. Uh, if you can't get it done, don't get it done. That simple. Wait for uh, wait for assistance. Wait till you've got a few big big blokes to help you. All right, so I'm set up here with number three. This one's got a different rebate again. Um, Set it all up, all nice and square, ready to give it a good weld. And uh, hopefully get this one in before it gets too friggin' cold, because it is like zero at five o'clock in the afternoon here. I can't get over how cold this week's been. It has been a 
bitterly cold a couple of days and uh, no cloud cover and no wind and uh, it's cool so I'll get into this weld him up and we'll be done well that was a very big day of uh, manhandled I don't know <laughs> a ton of steel today um, basically got the three main frames for under the mould uh, all welded up and I've got them in under the mould there but I'm going to have to get the boys in to help me tomorrow. You know, I try to do everything on my own so I don't impact on anyone around me but honestly there's no way on earth I can uh, I can get this thing up on my own. So I think uh, I'll wait until tomorrow I might go and I'll call it a day. Whacking a couple of welds in here Got this tacked in and uh, ready to do the other side. So, uh, very good, very pleasing to see this whole framework coming together now and uh, repairing something that I ruined two years ago. <laughs> So I'm putting the last piece of the puzzle in here. I've got uh, you know, all these big spans underneath the mould here, but up on the front here, I don't have anything to attach them to, apart from some bent up eye beams that have, um, you know, a legacy of the, the way it was treated years and years ago. The mould itself is fine. It's the, all the steel substructure underneath. But uh, being underneath the mould here is, uh, you know, it's starting to wear a little bit thin. I want to be up on there building the fricker. But uh, yeah, so I've just cut this piece of steel here. This will uh, span across the front part. And then over here, I'm gonna run a, uh, another piece of 100 mil by 50 mil uh, box section down and tie it in down at the bottom of the bent up uh, frame that is, is on the mold. And so getting this angle's uh, pretty critical, so just to slide and double. So bracing that all the way down and uh, welding it onto this guy down here. So uh, yesterday I killed my chop saw. Um, not happy, it was about 10 years old and it, uh, it was like a bit of a flamethrower. I, I killed it cutting all those other things. So. I've just come and bought a new, uh, it's only a 2200 watt job, but yeah, cheap as chips. I mean, if they last for 10 years, it's got a four year warranty. And uh, you know, <laughs> everything's just such a throwaway. It's such a shame. I hate the, the waste in this uh, in this world, but you know, for 139 bucks, what can you, can't go wrong. And he's got the right angle here, which is giving it a good clean up. You look like Despicable Me, mate. I'm whoever I want to be. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> look like a friggin' Jawa from Star Wars. <laughs> it's almost like a push bike. Frame, I might have mate. to put that's my. Almost, um, that's almost a robot doing that. My microwave detector on there for any minute cracks. Rolling up a dory, mate. Mate, I've got to have my medication. <laughs> We all need medication, son. All right, so this guy's going to go in now. Righto. Put it down. Slowly. Right. No. Oh, yeah. I've got to go come to me. Yep. Right. Oh, right. Come out of here. Hang on. Fuck you, Joel. Righto. I'm where I need to be. Perfect. Oh, mate. Job. Hey. Bolting my beams in place. That's not, perfect, not eh? Fucked around, mate. <laughs> it's not going anywhere now, is it? No way. No. Look behind me, team. <laughs> it is all happening here on the mould. Um, Look, it appears the last 12 months I've been dicking around with you. You know, you think I was just going to laminate the thing and, uh, and give it in. Mate, the last few months, progress. We've got uh, modules. We've got bulkhead templates. We've got 
uh, wing plates. We've got, we got it all happening here. So I've been a busy lad and uh, there's plenty, plenty, plenty going on here on the mold. Um, I've cut all my bulkheads, all the bulkheads are in place. So essentially I now have a very accurate template uh, to derive my actual templates, which are foam and, uh, and a couple of massive plywood ones, just a big 25 mil mark bulkhead in the centre here. But uh, I've just loved a module in here, so you'll have to wait to see a bit of that. I've got plenty of detail coming up. So, so far I've just been messing with you. Um, you know, my, uh, my commitment hasn't waned. In fact, if anything, it's, it's ramping up and, uh, and I'm basically pulling in six, seven days, day weeks on this thing and, uh, and really nutting it out. And yeah, progress. It's so nice to see this thing lifting up out of its foundation. So the hull's done, all this stuff's going in to, uh, to get my placement and yeah, pretty goddamn happy. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please, please subscribe. Get your mates to subscribe. You know, the more subscribers, the better. It makes me feel like it's worth doing the videos. And I know it is, because I know I get some great comments and everyone gets a good kick out of it. And, uh, and don't forget to like it. For some reason they like it when they like it uh, and i like it when you like it too but more importantly make some comments and uh and, and yeah tell your friends that there's an idiot in oz um build everything on his own you know giving it a crack <laughs> oh i think i'll crack before this cracks but uh yeah i'll join you next time on life on the mold <laughs>